Well, this week in Destiny, we've had the launch of the new Vespers Host Dungeon. That's been in game since last Friday. Destiny Rising, a brand new mobile game, has been announced this week as well. Plus, we've also got featured raid, dungeon, and nightfall content for the week. So it's Tuesday, the 15th of October 2024, and this is what's going on in Destiny 2 this week. As I mentioned before, Vespers Host is available in the game, and you can find that on Europa, and also the Master Mode launch today as well. There's plenty of good loot to get. You've got a grenade launcher, an auto rifle, a heavy grenade launcher, a fusion rifle, armor, and also Icebreaker, the iconic Destiny Sniper, has returned to the game as an exotic drop from the dungeon. Well, he's not here at the moment, but Zer will be back at the weekend, and he's going to be arriving with his skimmer, or his Zerf board, and so you're going to need 97 strange coins for that one. Or we'll do keep an eye out for Zer on Friday. It's going to be really good to get hold of that skimmer. Also, Destiny Rising has been announced. The new Destiny mobile game from NetEase. The alpha test starts on the 1st of November in America and Canada. And you can sign up today if you're interested. I would love to hear what you think about a Destiny mobile game. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in playing. Well, next up, let's have a look at the exotic mission rotator for the week. So we've got the Presage mission. That is one of the best exotic missions in the game. Very, very good. You can, of course, get the craftable Dead Man's Tail. Next up, we've got the featured raid for the week, and that is Garden of Salvation. And good news, the weapons have been upgraded. So you can also get the new Garden of Salvation memento as well. They're definitely worth jumping into Garden this week. Well, the featured dungeon, you can also find that one on the moon as well. This one is the Pit of Heresy. So jump into that featured dungeon this week. Next up, let's have a look at the Nightfall content this week. So it's in the Arcadian Valley over on Nessus. That means it is the Proving Grounds. I don't know what the weapon is at the moment, but let me know in the comments what weapon you get to drop for you in the Nightfall this week. Next up, let's have a look at Crucible for the week. So Trials returns this weekend. We've also got a couple of new weapons, or one new weapon, one returning weapon. We've got Yesterday's Question. That is a heavy burst hand cannon. We've got Tomorrow's Answer. That is a rocket launcher. That one is back. And uh, this week, we also have Momentum Control. And we've got Rift as well. We've got Comp. And we've got Control. I think the big news this week is Trials of Osiris is back at the weekend. Next up, let's have a look at these seasonal challenges. It is week two, so let's check out and see what we've got. So, first of all, Missions of Mercy 2, the complete part two of Act 1, Elixni Rescue. We've got Liquid Armor, so Craft Enriching Tonics in Ido's Tonic Lab. We have Uncommon Herbalist, so Collect Powder, the uncommon reagents used to make tonics in Ido's Tonic Lab. We've got Acoustic Performance, so deal final blows with Primary Ammo in Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard Ops, and bonus progress for Pulse Rifles, Scout Rifles, or Submachine Gun. Final blows by defeating Guardians. That was a very strange sentence. And uh, next up, Spark Defender score points in Rift, and bonus progress is awarded for Igniting the Rift. Well, those are the seasonal challenges. Next up, let's head on over to Banshee44. See what he's got for us this week. First of all, focus decoding. We have the Suros set of weapons, the Hake set of weapons. Let's have a look at the featured weapons, though. First of all, Regnant. So, hard launch, augmented drum, repulsor, brace, disruption, break. That is a very, very good roll. Definitely recommend you pick that one up if you haven't had it before. Then we've got Disparity, Fluted Barrel, Acrise Rounds, Rapid Hit, Kill Clip. We've got Ambush and Hake Breach Armaments. That is also a very good Pulse Rifle. So if you missed out on that one the first time, we've got Imperative as well, another good weapon. Fluted Barrel, Pended Mag, Triple Tap, Adrenaline Junkie, and Nano Munitions. We've got the Ranghill D, so Rifle Barrel, Appended Mag, Auto Loading Holster, Frenzy, and Hake Breach Armaments. Finally, the Ikelos SMG. This is a very good weapon. Arrowhead Break, Blended Mag, Shot to Swap, Frenzy, and Rasputin's Arsenal. 
not too bad at all. So we've got a good array of weapons this week. Regnant, very good. Disparity, very good. Imperative, very good. And uh, Iclos SMG, also very good. So, good weapons this week with Banshee 44. I recommend you pick them up. Next up, let's go and speak to Tess and see what she's got. First of all, with the shader, we've got Lucid. I like that. Very nice. We've got Shards of Stillness. Oh, quite nice. I'm going to get that. Next up, Ossified Entrance. And then Read the Map. That's an exotic emote. Got Eclipsing Projection. Have an ornament here for Buried Bloodlines. That's Lost Air. Get that one. With that too. We got Pack Rat. Remikos. Like that. The C6 shell. Looking pretty cool. Dressing fancy. Also, Sweetheart Dance. Next up, we've got the Daito Capsule Entrance. Blind Clutch. Reef Shimmer. Masonry. Ah, that's good. Very nice indeed. Get that one. Also have Spark of Joy. Pretty good too. We have Seven Sisters. My uh, Seaford peeps out there, shout out. Look at this one. Oh, a degree. Very, very good. But masonry, I'm very, very impressed with masonry. Looking very, very good. I think I'm going to have to put that one on immediately. Go. New look for reset day. Looking pretty good. Well, that is about it for the weekly reset information on the 15th of October 2024. As I say, the big news... Over the last few days is that the new dungeon has been added to Destiny 2, so I recommend jumping in there. It's very, very good fun. We've got the Garden of Salvation raid with the updated weapons as well. So definitely jump into that. And Trials of Osiris is back this weekend. So whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. You can also like the video and share the video too. That would help me out here on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month. You get access to our community discord and also early access to content. In tier two, that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos. And also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier three, that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels, but to do that, 
I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable and in return I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage only content. Well if you enjoy Endgame Express then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below or you can find us on the Patreon links and you'll find those links in the description. Well thank you for listening and thank you once again for watching and I'll see you very soon.